Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about a couple new fragments and the new warlock aspect. This is the Harvest Final Form. It's crazy in both PvE and PvP. I've been playing to see if that they're worth it, how much it comes up, and it works great. These two fragments I'm about to talk about are absolutely incredible together. And there's a third one to add, and I'll cover that as well. This is a new build to run. I have the numbers, the distances, all the good stuff. These two fragments also work differently for each class. Titan is different than Warlock and Hunter. Warlock's different than Titan and Hunter, and Hunter is different than Titan and Warlock. So here we go. The two fragments are Whisper of Rhyme and Whisper of Conduction. Whisper of Conduction also has the huge benefit of adding plus 10 resilience, plus 10 intellect. Nearby stasis shards track to your location. When a shard is made, when you're near them, they track to you. And that sounds small, but it isn't. It's really good. They start to track you when you're 19 meters from them. You need to be able to see them. If you can see them on your screen or they can see you, they're going to track to you. The second fragment is Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds, and collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. Don't get it twisted. This gives you straight up health, and if your health is full, it goes to overshield. We'll talk about that more in a second. The stasis shards work differently on each character, and the theme of stasis for the class stays true. The Titan is best at shatter, the Hunter is best at slow, and the Warlock is best at freeze. The harvest perk for each class plays to those things. Titan has Tectonic Harvest. Shattering a Stasis Crystal creates a Stasis Shard. That Shard grants melee energy when picked up. The Hunter has Grim Harvest. Defeating a Slowed or Frozen Combatant creates a Stasis Shard. The Shards grant melee energy when picked up. The Warlock is the new one as of Season of the Splicer. It's great. Glacial Harvest. Freezing targets create Stasis Shards around the Frozen target. Higher tier combatants create more Shards. So Titan shatters crystals to make shards, Hunter defeats slowed targets to drop shards, and the Warlock freezes enemies to create shards around them. And because of how each one of these work, there has to be balance. When you have Whisper of Rhyme, they grant the overshield. For Hunter, each shard that is picked up, it grants you 33.3 health. Straight up health. And I'll get into Titan and Warlock in a moment. But that's why these two fragments are so deadly together. Because in the heat of battle, you're doing what you need to do to make the shard. And when you're within those 19 meters, those shards come straight to you and they heal you. If you have full health, that carries to the overshield. It's insane. And as you saw in the opening clip, the hunter has a dodge or a backer shift to slow. It has two ranged melees and slow just tanks enemy accuracy. So you can literally just throw them, down them, gain the 33.3 health. It carries over to the next one, so you go do it again. It keeps on building. And for hunter, once three shards are taken, you gain the full 100 health overshield. For Hunter Aspects, you want Grim Harvest and Winter Shroud, so you dodge near enemies to slow them, and you want Harvest for the shards, obviously, but for the Fragments, you want Conduction, Rhyme, and Durance, and that way your slow lasts longer. So you have three ways to slow, not including the Dusk Field. It's basically like gaining health like a worm husk would do as you go, and eventually the Overshield. The Hunter is the only one that requires you to get a kill. So this grants the most health and melee energy. The Titan, all you have to do is smash crystals. The shards are smaller, but there are more of them. It equals the 66 health that you're able to get from a single glacier grenade. The Titan can get to 100 overshield like the Hunter, moving around, smashing crystals. Titan aspects, you want Tectonic Harvest and Cryoclasm. Fragments, Conduction, Rhyme, and Whisper of Shards. I've been running Armamentarium, so shards is when you shatter a crystal, you get a boost to your grenade recharge rate, and I run Double Glacier Grenade. When you slide through, the shards are gonna find you, or you head back towards them for a health bump, or it's gonna give that overshield bump if you're full. It's gonna get you near that max 100 overshield. Now the Warlock is different. This new aspect requires a freeze. When you freeze an enemy, two shards spawn right next to them. And here's where it gets interesting. The Warlock also has Ice Flare Bolts. Shattering a frozen target spawns Seekers to track and freeze nearby enemies. Every time that it does that, it spawns two new shards. These shards are basically half of the Hunter, kind of like the Titan. Each one grants 16.75 health, but here's the kicker. Glacial Harvest has a cooldown on it because the Warlock kit with freeze and things like Ice Flare Bolts, it pretty much is never ending. So in PvP, as an example, you can only spawn six of them, and it's going to cap you before that. Now the Warlock is the only one that can't get to the full 100 health overshield. It caps at around 66, 70 or so. In PvE, the cooldown is also there, but bigger targets spawn more shards. Now, when you start working with it, like in the Chaperone clip, you get a freeze, get a kill. Those seek you out. You don't have to worry about them. 
and by the time I'm done with the third enemy, the shards got my health back to normal with a tiny bit of overshield at the end. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Like getting a shard, then surviving a titan melee that pushed me up against a wall just to find out that the overshield that I had from the shard was the health that kept me alive. You can make big plays with it. Now for Warlock, you go Hedrons, Conduction, Rhyme, and I also have On Chain, so when I freeze an enemy, I'm already going to be kind of close to them, so those shards are coming to me to give me health and overshield, and since they're frozen, I have damage reduction. It's crazy. Now, there is another fragment that can go with these two on any class, that is Whisper of Hunger. Increases the melee energy gained from picking up Stasis Shards, so you're already getting melee from the shards, you're gonna get even more. They're gonna seek you out, you're gonna get a health bump, eventually an overshield, and you can put this on Titan, Warlock, or Hunter. These two together, the health then the overshield, them tracking to find you is a perfect pair. You can also pair something like Whisper of Refraction. Defeating slow to frozen targets grants you class ability energy, so in that scenario, when the shard seeks you, you get health, melee, and class ability. It's crazy. Now in PvE, that opens up War Mind Cell builds or Charged with Light. On any class, just running and gunning. Maybe throw on Hedrons as a third fragment to pair for the damage buff. Maybe do something like Protective Light. While Charged with Light, you gain a significant damage resistance when your shields are destroyed. So in that moment, you can do what you need to do to drop a shard and get a health bump. Or maybe something like Warmind's Protection, reduce damage taken from enemies that are near Warmind cells. PvE, you can add a number of things to keep up survivability. Add on Crimson even, and that goes for PvP as well. Not necessarily Protective Light, but you get what I'm saying. Now, it is worth noting that this also works with the new Stasis Sidearm, and it works especially well with the Warlock. You get that freeze. Once you do, the two shards spawn up right next to your enemy. They're gonna come seek to you. It can and will keep you alive. For Warlock, I've been running Claws of Ahamkara, or I, Hunter, Bacchus, or Six Coyote, Titan, Heart of Endless Light, Armamentarium, or Dune Marchers. The big deal is that this combination works great with all of them. These two fragments make the harvest aspects shine. It really brings them out. And this interaction also happens while you're in super. So if you're a Shadebinder, when you freeze an enemy before you set off your blast, those freezes spawn those shards. They seek to you, give you an overshield, and just all around keep you alive. In Behemoth, you can start with a heavy attack, run over the crystals to gain an overshield, and as you keep going and creating those shards, as you take damage, you're gonna get a lot of it back, because those are gonna be giving you health. It's universal. It's a brand new way to play. It's another build. There's a Chains build for damage resistance, Hedron's builds, now Harvest builds. To me, from what I've played, tested, seen, it's one of the strongest ones in the game. It really is. And even though the Warlock has a cooldown, it's probably my favorite one to use. With something like Claws, you have two freeze melees. You have a cold snap. I've been using the stasis sidearm as well. Even though the shards don't give you as much, when they chain and it starts just going over and over, it helps a ton. But that's not to slight Revenant or Behemoth. It's very good there too. Main thing to remember, once you're 19 meters in, they seek you. When you get into their line of sight, they start pulling, they will come around corners and they will find you. And crazy enough, they come to get you health when you need it the most. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. You can use the link down below and my code COOL at checkout for a discount. We have a brand new season, it looks good so far. I'm going to cover the sidearm next, and then some weapons. It's going to be great. Let's talk about these two fragments below and what was shown in the video. Is it something you could see yourself running in PvE or PvP? Let's talk about it down below. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.